You look concerned. I guess you'd have to find replacements for them in the time being until they get back. The vet is gonna give her the last act of kindness. We have an appointment today. Two of our horses that we previously adopted at are coming back today. The kids lost interest in the horses and the parents don't just want them sitting around, so they're gonna bring them back and hopefully we can find them new and amazing homes. Just fill out as much information. There's one for each of them. It was great. When it first started out, we'd never had horses before, so, you know, we were a uh, total novice in this whole thing. <laughs> and, it was a good experience. Uh, it was a good experience. And I'm hoping that uh, we got them fat and happy and the next group will get to enjoy them as much as we did. So we've had this tarp since about January. So it's lasted a couple months, but within the recent storms, it's kind of gotten a little ripped up. And it's definitely time to replace it. Feels like a heavier tarp. I think that's gonna do the trick. This is Braveheart and he's gained 90 pounds. So Belle, Adromeda, and Braveheart are going to another organization. I'm really happy for them. We have the gutter guys here today, and we're going to be getting some gutters on the office, which is really awesome. So we want to do it along here, and then along here, and then just the same on the other side. And then running down out here. So I got some really rough news last night. Um, as you know, Jesse and Sarah went on a little mini vacation and I let them off early on work and they were supposed to be back last night and they were still states and states and states away. Like they're <laughs> like 20 hours away just about right now. This is auction week and they're not gonna be here for probably, I mean, maybe for intake, but we're looking at doing it without them, which is fine because we are a team. We all know where to pick up the pieces when team members are gone, but we are gonna be short two people for this this auction intake, which really stinks because auction, as you know, is, is really big. And Jesse was gonna be driving the second truck, and now we've got, we've got a bunch of gaps in our team because, um, they, they didn't make it back. So hopefully they will, but we have to proceed as if they aren't going to be back for the auction. This is really, really bad for the team because we all rely on each other during auction intakes. And, um, and I wish they were here, but they're not. So we have to really decide what we're gonna, what we're gonna do. Kind of what your thoughts are of what we should do. I guess you'd have to find replacements for them in the time being until they get back. Someone to do Sarah's job and someone to do Jesse's job. Yeah. So we'll need to get all the vaccines ready, the wormers. Hey, Travis. Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, so, ish. Ish. <laughs> yeah, I got more bad news, unfortunately. Oh, no. Uh, Sarah was supposed to do a order for the co-op today. Uh -huh. um, our plan was to get all the grain out of the barn because we've had some problems with rats unfortunately yeah rodents um so we ran it i used pretty much all the grain yesterday uh, i do have enough to feed for today okay but i will need to go down to the store and buy more for tomorrow okay so we're completely out of i mean we have hay but we're completely out of grain and feed we got enough feed, we got for enough today. for today and Sarah was gonna put the order in today, so she's not here to do that. Yes. This is Banner. He is a 16 year old pony, and we are working on building his trust and desensitizing. This is Lightning, she just got surrendered, and right now we're just giving her a bath.
It's ivermectin time. This is good stuff. Everyone's favorite. This is Electra and she's gained 55 pounds since she's been in quarantine. This is Rain and he's gained 130 pounds. We're super happy with his progress. This is Marvel and she's gained 24 pounds. This is Mystic and she's gained 75 pounds total. Hi, hi baby, hi. So this is Bucky and he's gained 20 pounds. This is Rocket and so far he's gained 19 pounds. This is Storm. She has gained 87 pounds and is doing a whole lot better, so we are very happy. This is Argo, and so far she's gained 47 pounds. She's looking a lot better. So we just finished weighing and deworming all the horses up here in quarantine. We're super happy with their progress, and they're all looking really good. Well, we're getting ready to head out to go to the auction. Unfortunately, Jesse and Sarah are still stuck in an another state. Uh, they're on their way back, so hopefully they'll be here tomorrow for intake, but they had a horrible time trying to get back to the shelter, but um, if all goes well, they should be back tomorrow when the horses are back from the auction. Travis is just laying down new shavings in our trailer and we will be on the road headed to the auction to rescue as many horses as we can tonight. We don't know exactly how many that will be, but thanks to your support, we know we can rescue a lot of precious horses tonight. At 300, Behind me are 18 of the horses that we rescued, and I'm just so excited that we were able to save eight, not only these 18, but another one that we purchased in the parking lot. He's a Mustang with a previously broken leg just very very sad and the horses are settled in for the night we're gonna get some sleep ourselves be out here early in the morning to do the intake photos initial photos evaluation get them loaded up and transported back to the shelter and I can't thank each and every person who donated enough to make this possible it's almost 10 o'clock and we're finally leaving the auction we still have an hour to two hours worth of work left to do this evening so we rescued a horse that's really critical and I've been talking to our vet um, he's got a plan for the horse. Uh, we're just gonna keep him as comfortable as we can. It's an old injury, so he's been like this for a long time. If this was fresh, like a, a fresh injury, we'd be finding, you know, we'd have to put him down tonight. We couldn't allow him to continue suffering, but it's healed in this position. And so our vet feels the best thing is to just medicate him, help with the pain, and get him back to our shelter where we can take x-rays and then make a decision from there. So this is off of our Amazon wish list. Let me get it open. So he's gonna get um, stress relief tonight. I'm also going to wrap his leg and hope that gives him some support. And I have to give him some banamine. It's awesome having a great vet on call. So he knows we're going to auctions and he's, he's like, let me know if you need anything, I'll tell you what to do. I'm gonna give him the band mean first and then I'm gonna wrap his leg. I don't even know where to begin. He's been like this for a really long time. Um, they've probably just been trimming off the end of his hoof, but. So he's got meds on board. I'm just gonna give him the stress relief and he should be pretty comfortable for the night. His legs wrapped, so he has some support um, and we'll, he'll be getting more medication. Uh, just as you know, we're following the vet's plan so we can keep him comfortable. So I'm just gonna give him this uh, stress relieving uh, poor guy's been through a lot. Yeah, we'll see what the vet says. Does that taste really weird, huh? You're gonna be okay. 
Yeah, we love you. So now I've got to go up and send out an email and let everyone know how many horses we rescued and just thank everyone so much for their support because if we didn't have heroes out there making donations, we wouldn't be able to do the work we do. So um, I feel it's vitally important to let them know, even though I'm tired and exhausted, is letting them know how much I appreciate their support and um, we couldn't do it without them. So I gotta get that email sent out and then I can get some rest for the night. just uh, where I write the email I get it sent out and um, this email uh, Shelby helped me with I am um, I, I have a I got kicked in the head when I was a kid and it really messed up my reading and writing ability uh, so I rely a lot on others to help me with that so uh, Shelby helped write this up so it's raining today. It's supposed to be raining all day that means we have to get the horses loaded and intake in a storm. The nice thing is if my hair gets wet in the rain, it's fine. That's the only good thing I can think about right now as far as positive that it's raining today. The rain is coming down. We, we have been battling weather all this week. Um, Sarah and Jesse, they headed out for the weekend. They got stuck in a storm. Uh, they wanted to go for traveling and they got stuck up by Colorado. And um, so weather was giving them a horrible time and now this auction uh, transferred from the auction to our organization and the intake is all gonna be in the rain today and it's not gonna be fun. All right, Jason's got our auction box and we are heading in to find the horses we rescued. It's not fun, it's raining. Hey babies. Hey precious. It's gonna be okay. Hi baby. We're gonna get you out of here, okay? you. Get him out here in the light and we'll see if he's a stud or not. It looks like he's just been gelded. He has a fresh incision down there. So he probably will still be acting stallion-like. Uh, so we'll have to put him in with um, possibly you know, just other geldings. Um, I see how old he looks. If he's young, that would be helpful. He's probably about four or so, so. Um, makes the intake a little bit more difficult uh, when we have stallions, just because we have two adult full-sized stallions and it, moving them and transporting them, we just have to make sure everybody's safe. Oh, that doesn't look good. So I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that goes on our Amazon wish list and purchases the Sin Chill. It really helps the horses at the auction. They've been really stressed. Um, we're able to give them that. By the time they get back to the shelter, the transport isn't so scary for them. And um, it just it starts out their experience with us being able to be calmer and uh, more relaxed. And that's really important. Uh, stress is very bad for horses. Getting the horses sorted out. I'm catching them. Jason is uh, putting them in different pens. Uh, it's just him and I working here today. Hey, baby. You all right, baby? 
It's okay. Let me get you out of here, okay? Hold on. This will help you, okay? All right. I know. You probably think it's warmer, but it's going to help you. And there you go. This horse has something wrong with its mouth. It really stinks. You can tell this horse has uh, chronic diarrhea and also has a swollen pastern there. And it's really skinny. We have to get you out of here. Come on. All right, we're going to see if uh, this gelding will be okay with the other uh, one we got that's just gelded. It's always a trick trying to get these, these boys to work out. So we've got two other. He's being good with that gelding, so hopefully we can get him in here with this gelding and they'll be fine. So far, it looks like we're having success. It looks like everyone's being nice to each other, so that's a good thing. Hi guys, come here. Mud and crusted halters are They've been left on for a long time. They're always so hard to take off. Let's get you out of here. It's okay. We're going to take you too. Hold on. You're going to be safe. It's okay. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. Come on, you're so beautiful. Come on, baby. Come on, you're gonna be all right. Come on, you, come on, you're so skinny. I know, come on, we can do this, come on. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. Aw. Let's give you some of this, help keep you calm. Aw, oh, I can tell from your teeth, you're really old. Here we go. Oh, you're so pretty. You look like Black Beauty, don't you? Yes. All right, come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on. So a lot of you saw this horse when we posted her, and we were really hoping we were able to save her, and we did. So I uh, just got to get her intake picture. I gave her her calming medicine, and we'll get her back to the shelter. She's super skinny. I think she'd been in stacks not terribly long ago because they grow the hoof out really long, and you can see how long her hills are and she's actually walking back here. It's, it's, it's swollen and, and puffy because she probably had stacks on for years of, of her life. Um, you can see her back legs. Uh, Pastern's are actually almost like touching the ground when she walks and she has a hard time walking straight. It's all just common with throwing away big lick horses. They, their bodies just can't handle the amount of stress and strain put on their, their bones and their tendons and their legs. Just have a few more horses to do their intake on. Just noticed uh, that one over there, you can see it had another auction tag in its tail. So it's been through multiple auctions and that's very common on the way to the slaughter pipeline. That one has two. So it looks like it's been through three auctions, an auction tag on its shoulder, its right hip, and then from last night. So these horses really just bounce around the auction slaughter pipelines until they ultimately end up in Mexico. They get too skinny, dump them off, exchange them for fatter horses. Like this one that we rescued instead of the kill buyers getting her. Yeah, he looks like he's starting to relax. I think the, their, their eyes are getting calmer. And that's from that, uh, and chill, just uh, helping him relax and not be so scared. We have the last horse in here. Yeah, we still got the little minis. It's gonna come down here and hide. You're okay. So I've tried catching this horse. Uh, he's still very scared and he wants to connect with me. 
So I don't want to push him to the point that he is scared of me. And then uh, when he gets back to their shelter, we have the, the proper facility for, you know, catching him without causing stress. So I'm just gonna take his intake pictures of him standing in here and then we'll run him into the pen with the other horses and he can be loaded up and head to our shelter. All right, so I'm just gonna run him down. Come on. And we try to cause the least amount of stress possible for these horses once they're in our care because we know they've been through a lot and we just wanna get them back to the shelter and then get them evaluated. Yeah. Well, now we got our little mini pen because we've got all the big horses sorted out. So this is the first pen. Um, the first trailer's here to load them up and we'll get them on the road. Such a good boy. He's so stoic. It might be because he's so used to so much pain. A uh, needle doesn't doesn't affect him. There you go, buddy. We gonna make your trip better, okay? Yeah. This leg is just so horrific. It's one of the worst legs I've seen in a very long time in rescuing, where it's just broken and twisted and deformed out so bad and, he's, and it's an old injury. He's having to live like this for probably years. You get the little minis loaded up. Come on. That one is so sad. <sighs> Leg is just terrible. I know, it's super hard. Oh. We got everyone loaded up. The first truck and trailer is on the road. We've got stallion, minis, and more boys back here recently gelded. One and then three, two other geldings. So we're off to the shelter. Love has always been the kind of thing that knocked me off my feet. Until you came and picked me up by never really understood what people meant by wait and see But now I'm seeing all the things that we could be Oh, you and me Tell me why Love can't always be this easy time Seems to stand still when you're standing near me I've spent my whole life second guessing everything gets here let's get it x-rayed and and do what we need to do because he is this is just not good so he was born in 96. hey at least it's raining you look concerned
The whole joint is fused. The bad thing is it's fused crooked. If it's been fused straight, maybe we we'll able to use it. We've got a lot of bony reaction there. There's nothing we can do for him. Um, you know, when we see a horse like this, it's it's really hard to think of the years of agony that he endured. And I'm thankful that he's here and we're gonna be able to do the right thing for him and relieve him of that constant suffering. It's something his owner should have done a long time ago. rays of this little mini hips and it has a severe hip problem going on um, it's it's something that can't be fixed and we're gonna have to do the last act of kindness I knew when we were bringing these horses here that that was probably gonna happen it's, it's always hard it's never easy um, especially because that little mini is only two years old and you know to think about the pain and suffering she endured just because her owners didn't do the responsible thing and say, wow, I have a, an animal with a fractured hip, I need to put it down and have the vet come out. Instead, just take it to an auction. And, you know, people do get upset at Horse Plus. They say, oh, Horse Plus kills horses and stuff. We aren't the ones that are out there causing these problems and doing this to these horses. We're the ones not turning a blind eye to them, rescuing them and making the decision with the vet and giving them the last act of kindness because they're suffering. We rescue horses regardless of their condition, even if that means the last act of kindness. And people are welcome to bash us on the internet if they want, but we know it's the right thing to do. How old is he, Doc? Yeah, I will. We think two He says two on here, yeah. so we're good. Doc is giving him his vaccinations and his uh, antibiotics, and I'm giving him electrolytes, dewormer, and his microchip. It looks like part of P1 down here is dissolving. Uh, we don't have a lot of the, there's some real cancellous bone down here that usually shows up. It's pretty much gone. This joint, we've got the coffin joint, which is probably pretty good. The next joint up is fused, and I think that's where the problem is because we have some bone lysis right here. So sadly, there's nothing we can do for this horse. She's nearly 30 years old, and the kindest thing we can do is to end that constant painful suffering that she's, she's going through. So that is going to give her the last act of kindness. It seems like every horse that comes through just about is needing that, but that's because we're looking at the critical ones first and making those calls. Um, it's just, it's hard, but it's the reality of rescue work. We could have turned a blind eye to all these horses and rescued adoptable horses, but even then we don't know if they're drugged and they're, they've got lameness problems. So we just rescue every one we can in the slaughter price range and figure out what's best once they're here. And, um, you know, just, just looking at the x-ray, anyone could tell that this horse has got a lot of problems. Let's do new Coggins because they say it's a quarter horse since 14 years old. And, and it was gated, right? It's gated. Mean, it was like gated, yeah. So we got our barn all set up for these horses coming in, and we have hay and salt and water, and we're going to keep them in from the rain. Let's take an extra and see how yeah. it looks. On this horse over here, we've got a what looks like a coronary band injury. We took an x-ray of his hoof and all the bone structure looks great. Some of the best I've seen. Seen today, for sure. Some of the best I've seen <laughs> the today. The best we've seen the today. The best. I'm gonna go it's out on and say the best. 
So everyone's saying they're hungry. Travis came over and asked about pizza. Um, I'm not sure what to do. Hey, Doc, what are you doing? I'm buying pizza. You're buying pizza for everyone. Okay, so yeah, this is how awesome Doc is. Now, last time I told you about all these amazing fan club you have. What are they going to do when they see you buying pizza for everybody? We'll have a lot more volunteers. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happens. Anymore. She's only two years old, and I'm hoping there's no damage in her bones and her joints. Hopefully it's just swelling from getting kicked or something, but we won't know until we take the x-rays, so that's what we're gonna do. You want about, that's almost a 45 yeah. degree angle. You want about 30, 25 to 30. Yeah, yeah. I don't think she, yeah. I think she's probably closer to 30. Yeah. We're taking x-rays of her. I'm afraid that she's got some arthritis in her pastern. It seems pretty swollen. We won't know until we get the x-ray and that's why we're taking it. And then we can make an uh, educated decision on what's best for her. If she's in pain and she's suffering, we don't want that to continue. She doesn't have a lot of arthritis, but we're gonna start getting, it looks like it could be bone to bone. There was a group of Tennessee walking horse brood mares that were sold at the auction. We got as many as we could, and we knew when we rescued them that there was probably some major quality of life issues. And um, you know, this mare, she's she's almost 30 years old. When she walks, her her hind end is very very weak, and um, we all believe here that this is from the big lick. What you got there? Got pizza. Hope everybody's ready for pizza. Pizza. Pizza is so yummy. What, what is that one? Gluten-free. That's gluten-free. Oh, gluten-free. Tell your story about gluten now. <laughs> the horse behind me is number 300 for the year. Uh, this year we've been rescuing just over about a horse a day. And this horse's name is Lily. She's named after somebody very special. And um, we're just gonna give her her vaccinations, microchipping, antibiotics, all that good stuff. And um, I hope if Lily out there is watching that she uh, sees this horse that is named after her. Lily, you're such a pretty girl. Yes, you are. You are a beautiful horse. So regal. We're waiting for the x-ray machine to uh, do all its fancy stuff so we can see the image. Looks like we got a little ring bone starting on uh, That may be why she got turned back in by somebody that's trying to train her, but she does not look lame. Oh, is that yucky? Does anybody know what her problems are? Hold on. One more for you. She did great for her microchip. I got Lily's tag here. Uh, she's number 300 and she's 300 for this year. We've rescued over 300 horses this year. That's about a horse a day. So we stay really busy around here. All right, there's her tag, number 300. This is why I let Doc do it.
crazy day, but we are finally. It's been, been long, but it's been fun. Yeah. I mean. It's been a good day, but we've got all horse, all the horses taken care of. Uh, there's 19 in total. <laughs> they're safe and they're happy and that's what it's all about. So, seems like we've got a good bunch of horses this time, so. Yep, horses that need help and good. they're safe. Everybody seems happy, so we're good. And Doc bought us all pizza, and that was just icing on the cake. Gotta keep the crew happy. <laughs> well, you do a good job.